Good day guys. Let me show you um, an interesting fault. Uh, what happens, the detector starts up, it runs for a while and turns off. Also, it can get a little bit um, noisy um, and then it turns off after it gets noisy. Now, these uh, there's two devices here in the middle of the board. They're TLC372, they're comparators. You can see the location. This star detector is extremely dirty. But anyway, what's happened here? If you can see in there, around the um, pins, or where it was, should I say, on the um, pads, there was this um, brown build-up. I think it might have been the glue that was holding down the chip starting to uh, dry out and oxidise or something of that nature. And as these uh, comparators are CMOS, they're very sensitive and it becomes conductive very very slightly it's millions of ohms but it's enough to turn the detector off yeah i've had i've had this um happen before same thing so if your detector stops working it's possibly um you need to pull that um tlc 372 um, off the board and uh, yeah give it a good clean out um, yeah I've got the cotton bud sitting next to it you can see what I've got off so far and that's just um, very very um, dirty but that's um, the problem you can see at the bottom of uh, where I've removed the chip, there is a capacitor with no paint on it. Uh, normally there's a small value capacitor there, I can't remember off the top of my head, but what, what I found is that some of these detectors I've had, um, the ones that uh, turn off, um, very hard fault to find. The detector will be running beautifully and then all of a sudden it'll go whoop. I think it, um, comes up with overcurrent as well and I've cured it in the um, past by increasing the capacitor value uh, I've got a one microfarad uh, cap sitting in there at the moment I think there are only um, a few nanofarads so the cap that was in there but uh, yeah, the proper fix is to get in there and clean all that brown stuff out. So I've been giving it a go. I've, uh, I use a cotton bud and I put brake cleaner on it actually and uh, give it a good scrub. I'll clean it right up and I'll put this back together and we'll see how we go. But uh, yeah, where did I put the chip? I had the chip there somewhere as well. Oh, there it is. I stuck it on, on there. You can probably see brown stuff on that chip. So what I actually do to get, uh, let's put it, turn it around the other way. Where are we? Yeah, to get these off the board, I just flood the legs with solder, um, both sides. And I just um, heat it up with a soldering iron, one side, the other side, the other side, bang, you know, back and forth. And eventually it just falls off. So, in nine times out of ten, it doesn't damage the uh, chip. I mean, if you put the soldering iron on and keep it there at 370 degrees for, you know, a couple of minutes, that's the end of the chip. But if you just quick and, and uh, get it out without too much heat, it'll um, 
live for another day. That's another comparator there, it's a 372 as well. There's um, all sorts of uh, monitoring, you see those um, big resistors. They're probably current monitoring resistors. They live in the power supply. I just realize how dirty this detector is inside, my God. Looks like it was um, underwater at one stage. Do you mean? Anyway, that's that. I'll um, stick, uh, clean it up, stick it back in, and see how we go. Catches.